Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA series based on Red Hat 8. Today's video is on Create Hard and Soft Links. So the first thing uh, is to cover what is a soft link and what is a hard link in Linux. Uh, a symbolic or soft link is actually a link to the original file whereas a hard link is a mirror copy of the original file. So if you, for example, deleted the original file, uh, a soft link has no value because it points to a non-existent file. But however, in, in a hard link, if you delete the original file, the hard link will still have all the data of the original file. That's because the hard link is like a mirror copy of the original file. If you think like um, in the Windows context, um, a shortcut, a shortcut is very much like a soft link and there's, there's a couple of key differences between soft links and hard links so a soft link can cross the file system allows you to link between directories has different inode number and file permissions and original file permissions will not be updated if you uh, change it has only the path of the original file not the contents so as again, if you lose the original file, soft link has no value. So a hard link, however, has a few restrictions and obviously some benefits as well. So a hard link can't cross the file system boundaries, can't link directories, has the same inode number and permissions of the original file. Permissions will be updated if you change the permission of the source file has the actual contents of the original file so if you can still view the contents even if the original file is removed so it's literally a mirror of that file so you change something on that file it will be reflected on the uh, the hard linked file so let's cover creating uh, hard links so if we go in here in here okay so let's just go to the same old Let's go to documents. Okay. So this is the IA. Um, we'll give you all files. Is the a a L? I means the inode number, and the L means the long listing. So it includes the read, write, and put the permissions on the left hand side there. So what we've got additional is on the left hand side. These are these numbers are an inode number, so it's like a, it's a, it's like a an individual number for each file on the system. Um, so there will be, it's like a unique number, especially to put it yeah for that for that particular file or directory on the system. So let's let's first create uh, an i uh, let's create a hard link first. So it's just ln for link and then let's create so we've got to give it the what we're going to link to so we quickly create uh, let's actually create let me just first make sure we've got something with so we've got testing that's fine okay so we do ln and then the name of the file we're going to link to example and then we're going to have hard link example okay so if we do the minus LIA here again, so we should have hard link example here. Okay, and then we've got the original example file here. If you look at the times, July 11, that time, you can see all the permissions are the same there. You can also see this inode number is exactly the same for that. Uh, so, for, uh, another quick thing: if I do a change to, say, if we do a change to uh, the hard link example, let's do let's go to the example. We make a change. Um, let's just do a new line and do test two. Okay. So, if we do a cat of hard link example, we can see it's reflected immediately there, and same if we do example and I mentioned earlier so if we delete example okay 
now we can do a cat of hard link example it still exists because as I said it's a mirror of that original file cool okay so let's do IA okay so let's do a, an example of a symbolic link okay so if we just have a look at the VI file perhaps yeah, some test in text in there, cool. So let's do a symbolic link of this VI file. So let's do ln minus, oops, sorry, ln minus s, and that's the minus s means symbolic or um, sim link or soft link. People call it all kinds of different names, and ln obviously is link. And then we put the location of the file we want to link to. So VI file, and then whatever you want to call the link. So we could call it um, sim link VI file. Okay, so now if we do ls minus li again, notice how this, the sim link is shown differently to the, the um, hard link we showed earlier. You can see it's quite clearly just saying it's, it's pointing to this file. And also notice we've got the L there to say it's a link. And if we look at the original file, so the VI file here, you can see it's created this date. Uh, we've also got permissions here, okay? And the inode number there, okay? With the sim link, we can see we've got newly create date, created date. We've got very different permission set and we've got a brand new I'd known number. So it's quite a clear, clear difference. So that's a, it's a brand new file essentially. It's not, like the other one, it's not a mirror of the, of the original ones. Okay, so we can do, so if we remove the VI file, so first let's just do a cat of, let's just prove the symbolic link works first. So we do cat of that, and then cat of VI file, should be identical. Okay, and then remove, VI file. And then we do the cat of the symbolic link file. We can now see it doesn't link anywhere. You can see now, in, in this case, the terminal has been really useful and actually just shown us with the flashing red. <laughs> There's now a lot of linking to anything. So we can just remove that file to clean it up. Cool. Well, that concludes the video. Um, it's a pretty quick one because it's not, not too much ground to cover on this one. Um, I hope it's been useful. Uh, please like my video, um, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the, the bell uh, icon if you want to be notified of any of my videos. Um, comments below of anything you found useful or anything, anything you want else you want to cover. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.